Diamond Fernandez here with the HeartFit Clinic, and today I want to talk to you about lipoprotein A. And lipoprotein A is is uh, is uh, actually quite an important risk factor to heart disease, and I want to talk to you about it a little bit as to why. When you look at lipoprotein A, I think it was in 2009, they did a, a patient meta-analysis, and there's about 120,000 patients in that study, and they found that uh, lipoprotein A was an increased uh, people with an elevated lipoprotein A had an increased risk of heart disease. And so uh, so th that's where it, the foundation, I think, of lipoprotein A actually came into play. But um, the concern is, is that lipoprotein A is, is um, so remember, cholesterol doesn't cause heart disease. And, and, and we talk about the small and large particles, and that's another video. But lipoprotein A is one of those atherogenic particles that it can get permeable to the inner lining of the arterial. Remember, arteries are a muscle, right, not a pipe. And when you look at the inner lining of the arterial wall, it's all skin. And when I say permeable, these lipoprotein A particles are floating around in your bloodstream. They make it, um, the it, when you get an injury to the inner lining of the skin, the lipoprotein uh, A particle can be part of the atherogenic or plaque building process inside the artery. So it can start to cause um, plaque build up and, and be a part of that. And so um, there are a lot of genetic studies that have shown that um, elevated lipoprotein are associated with a, even aortic valvular disease and um, even associated with aortic stenosis. And so um, even the, there's a lot of patients with uh, aortic valve replacements that show that higher LPA levels as well. And so you know, these are some things that why LPA is very important. I'm going to talk all day long about different stuff about what LPA does, but it's uh, it's very similar to plasminogen if you don't know what that is, and I'll do another video on that another time. But it's it's uh, it, it, it's just directly responsible lipoprotein to the atheromal plaque uh, buildup in, in inside the arterial wall. So that's why it's important. So if you do have high lipoprotein A, I've done videos on that and I'll do more, I'll keep on learning more as to what you should be doing. But if you have high lipoprotein A, it's important that you understand what can you do to lower lipoprotein A. And how do you lower lipoprotein A? Um, my suggestion is, is that there's something called chokeberry. I think that's very good. Um, there's the, the L-lysine protocol um, with L-proline and the proline protocol, I guess it is, and vitamin C, L-lysine, L-proline, uh, th those, those are shown to it, but in all honesty, the more I see people doing that, I, I don't really see too much changes with that. And so um, there's some things that uh, off of our website we actually talk about. But anyway, that's another video on how to lower uh, lipoprotein A, and I can talk about it in the comments there. But um, anyway, uh, Diamond Fernandez here to your heart health success, wishing you to live happier, healthier, and longer.